It was, uh, you know, the line score doesn't say, you know, speak to what Jose, how he pitched today. You know, obviously the punch, the punch outs were, were great, but throwing strikes and holding base runners, picked a guy off. And even when there was a couple, you know, the soft liner, the bunt base hit and, um, you know, the close play by Jan Kelsey that got away from score to run. So, uh, but you know, he kept his composure. And I think for a young kid to make his debut in this environment says a lot about Jose and how much, you know, we've seen him grow or from what I hear, he's grown. Um, but it's just a credit to our development, you know, just to have guys like that. I think that in the last seven days, we've had seven starters. And, you know, these young kids are coming in there, um, really coming in and contributing. So I can't speak to, uh, you know, what Jose did tonight. Can't say enough. You mentioned his composure. How soon do you know as a manager? You know what? Well, one thing is, is, you know, at the plate, he was, he got a couple signs offensively. So that was good to see. So I think that, you know, that's one thing and just his tempo and um, getting the throwovers from the bench and things like that, where the game is not too fast for him. And for him to uh, watch our pregame ritual with uh, the, the translator, interpreter Will, and to kind of take that in and have fun with that. So he wasn't taking it too seriously, but refocused on his start. So there's a lot of things as a, as a manager, you watch your players and especially the young ones and see how they respond to situations. And um, yeah, he checked all the boxes. Welcome back, Yassiel, please. Yeah, Yassi, Yassiel, it was, you know, just the homer was great. It was a big hit for us, but um, the at-bat quality that he had throughout the day, um, you know, hitting, cut off men throwing to the right base and backing up. You know, there's a lot of things, you know, Yasiel did today to help us win a baseball game. And I think that uh, a credit to him. But we as a team did a lot of very good things offensively, you know, running the bases and having better at bats and things like that. So, you know, and Justin Turner t today, very good, grinding out at bats. So from Yasiel to all the guys, you know, Adrian laying a bunt down, we did a lot of good things today. <laughs> you know what I, I think that um, you know for us obviously you know it's nice to have five starters to throw 200 innings that's great I still like that model um, but I but I do like the way that you know regardless of who toes the rubber that day we're expecting to win so our guys uh, really believe that and whether it's a kid with one day of service or a guy with 12 years of service we, we plan on winning that game so it's a credit credit collectively to now I think 36 guys. <laughs> You're about to start four rookies in a row in the middle of a pennant race. If I told you that in spring, would you have believed me? Would you have thought, oh, yeah, we'd be fine with that? Yeah, that? That's not the way that, you know, I don't think anyone in this room would have envisioned it or in that room. But, you know, there's something to be said for not overthinking things and understanding that this is a situation or the hand we're dealt and make good on it. And regardless of where guys, I'm moving guys around in different positions and sometimes in the order or who's pitching. And I think that, uh, you know, it goes to the buy-in and, and the, the trust that we still can't make excuses and try to win a game. So I think to keep everyone in the same order, to play the same position, to have the same five guys take the mound every fifth day, uh, there's something to that. But that's very uh, unrealistic. So I think that our guys are, are – Understanding that the world's not perfect and you got to make adjustments. You realize, of course, that this front office and overthinking are kind of related. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Doc, was there any reluctance to send uh, Jose back out for the sixth? Reluctance? Um, I, I, I think that, um, you know, it, it was as that, that inning developed. You know, we were trying to add on and score runs. And so with his pitch count down where it was at, I liked where he was at. Uh, there was a long layover in that inning, in that uh, bottom half of that inning. But um, I felt good with him going back out there. And, you know, and, and there was a little thought about him going out there for the seventh. But I, I think that, um, you know, 89 pitches, he could have went a little deeper, but it wouldn't have been much. So um, I felt that he was throwing the ball well. I felt that he was throwing the ball well. And also, you know, you still want some length from your starter. Also doing the things you talked about in the clubhouse and in the dugout that you wanted him to do, and are you 
talking to him about the things he's doing well, like team to cut up men and his play approach. Yasiel's doing everything we've asked and, and doing everything that everyone else in that clubhouse is doing. And I think that more importantly, he and his teammates are talking about doing the right things. And so I think that when there's accountability with your, with your teammates, it makes everyone better. You know, not only Yasiel, but his teammates. And so today was a well-played major league game by a right fielder. So, um, and he helped us win. Did Jose really show you his full repertoire in that six Yeah, well, I, I think he did. He, he did it all. He did it all. I mean, I think from the pitch mix to the holding runners to I like the emotion right there on that last punch. Um, it's just just genuine emotion and excitement, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Was that uh, Adrian's hit, his idea, or from the- that was his? That was his. You know, and you know, it's a cat and mouse. And when you see the shift, and so Adrian, as a baseball player, beat the shift right there. So, and then his next at bat, they had to keep the third baseman over there. So, um, that's how, that's that's a heads up baseball play. Thanks, guys. It's not easy for kids to come up and have an impact. I think it says a lot about player development, but it also says about a lot about the guys in the clubhouse that just welcome all these young players to make them feel comfortable.